My name is Rose Gottmuller, and I am the Deputy Secretary General of NATO. During the Cold War, there were so many events that impinged even on a little girl in Columbus, Ohio. In addition, though, the great dangers of the Cold War came to affect us all, and particularly the Cuban Missile Crisis. I remember my uh, teachers in school when I was a little girl saying, you must get home tonight immediately, don't stop and play, don't wait. Uh, you need to get home because there could be a nuclear strike tonight. But then the space race itself, uh, when uh, our first astronauts went into orbit, John Glenn, the walk on the moon, all of this was incredibly exciting, uh, even in, in the American Midwest. After uh, you know the Cold War was over, there were many changes in how I think NATO saw itself, and in some ways it faded from view a bit uh, in my adult life. But uh, coming back here uh, to NATO and assuming this job as Deputy Secretary General, it has really obviously pulled the organization into very sharp focus again, tackling both uh, new threats of fighting terrorism, for example, working uh, to counter what is a renewed threat, and that is the aggressive behavior of uh, Russia. There is a lot of attention uh, to the deterrence and defense side and, and a lot of good pictures too, but at the same time there's a huge amount of interest in dialogue because I think there is a, a real understanding that we have to open up uh, to look for ways to prevent incidents and accidents that may occur from spiraling into a crisis and perhaps even into conflict. The best part of my job, I think, uh, is dealing day-to-day uh, -day with, with the Allies. They are so many uh, personalities and so many, uh, well, I'll put it this way, so many uh, quirks at times uh, to address, but they are people who are a lot of fun. Honestly, uh, sometimes I don't know where that energy is going to come from until I walk into a meeting and, and get that kick of adrenaline to help me get through the meeting. But you don't see me at the end of the day when I go home and I close the door and really just need to completely kick back, which is, is what I do. And, and that's why we are very, very glad, my husband and I, to have a, a cozy house here and uh, a place where we can both just relax. Good morning, everyone. In many places, they don't have a lot of women uh, working at higher professional levels. I'd go to meetings and usually be the only woman at the table. There'd be women sitting behind on both sides, and that was, uh, that was okay. But I hope those young women who are sitting behind uh, in the second row before too long will come to the front of the table because that's where they belong. For young people, they need to be able to connect, and to be able to connect, they need to be able to do, I think. And in the case of uh, my own children, they've been raised in the in the Washington stew pot, so they're used to issues of defense and security. They take an interest in them. I think there's a way to talk to young people about NATO that's related to uh, their service in the armed forces. And for those who are serving, they are doing, and so they can help us tell this story.